Uh, Adam Savage in my cave. It's a lovely Friday morning in San Francisco. It is sunny outdoors, and I'm about to embark on a build that I'm not gonna tell you about right now. I, I, uh, I, this is gonna be a slow reveal build. I'm gonna build a thing. We're gonna watch me build it. I'm not gonna tell you about what it is or what it's doing or why I'm building it. And then I'm gonna put some pieces together and you'll understand everything. Yeah, it's a little bit of a different take. Let's get started. Uh, first up in this build is a sky. The first aspect of this build is a sky. It's this one. Now, I pulled this off of the web, this picture of the sky, uh, and then I photoshopped it. And here it is. Yeah, isn't that neat? Watch this. It's like tested special effects. Um, so, right. So yeah. I have to make a couple of measurements, figure a couple things out, but... Yeah, that can be a... I, 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 I'm working out some details in my head. <clears throat> there we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, uh, do, do, do. that would do that, that would do this, that would do this. So, if what I need are... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I need... All right, so let's see here. I've got, this is 1.6. That's the interior diameter of this, give or take. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, and then this distance here. What, about half an inch? Yeah, okay, that's, that's great. That's what I want. Um, and then this lip here. What is that? That's probably like quarter inch. So half inch, quarter inch. Each of these is gonna be three quarters of an inch long. I can get plenty of those out of here. Uh, quarter 20 through. What is the number seven? I bet it's bigger than 0.19. Huh, wow, it's almost exactly that. Far out. Um, oh, look at this trill bit that's been munched by one of my chucks. All right, that's number seven, and that's point two. All right, I think I think I need four of those with this. Uh, right, I'll do the first one at a point one nine, and then I'll do the rest at the quarter twenty.
Um, okay, so... Uh, let's hammer these guys home. Let's see here. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Ha! Amazing. Um, all right, let's do. Yeah. Let's do this. Nope. That's it. Yeah, great. Wonderful. Okay, and same over here. Do this. Great. And same here. How far apart? How far apart? Okay. This is a test tape. Test tape. Test tape. Okay. And you are also a test tape. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're going to get me within a few thousands. Yes. Great. See that? That wasn't so hard. Look at that Photoshop work. Okay. So now the real question is what? is the distance between? And the answer is, I'm gonna need, what am I gonna need? What am I gonna need? Maybe some two, four, six blocks? Let's see. Let me just make sure there's no grease on these. Same thing. So, center, center to center, oh, that's a tough one. I'm going to say at the minimum 22 and 7 eighths, and at the maximum, sorry, 21 and 7 eighths, 22 and an eighth. So, I just need to, so 20. think my minimum here is 21 and 15 16 that's the middle call 21 I will tape you for real later but I think you're kind of getting an idea of what I'm building. Maybe just a little bit. We shall see. 
Okay, so this I can remove. We'll go to here. Um, ah, look at that. Yes, I can build the whole thing right off of this. So, uh, okay. That's where I want that center to be because I want it to be right at the edge, right? center drive. Uh, and 21 and 15 sixteenths later. 21, 15 sixteenths. Right. When you work hardening something to break it, when you're bending something back and forth in order to break it, it's called work hardening. And what you're actually doing is imagine the small atoms in the steel, they're all next to each other and you're bending this. When you're doing that, you're actually smushing those atoms past each other, smushing them past. And that friction of the atoms and molecules moving past each other because you're bending causes them to heat up. And when they heat up, they actually change the structural properties of the steel, weakening it and causing it to break.
I am uh, adding some thin crazy glue to strengthen the wood here at the top and bottom because this is going to be a, a key little mechanical connection here. I'm just letting it soak in. I've been watching uh, Tom Wood, uh, Woodford Guitars use the thin crazy glue for wood strengthening and got inspired. Nice. Wow, that's a great tolerance. I'm very pleased. Seven eighths, twenty one and fifteen sixteenths. Twenty one and fifteen sixteenths. Yes, that is. Okay, so then what I want, right? It's that, right? Yes, I do. Okay, so. Come out to what? Actually, if it's there, if that's that. I want to come out to about. Actually, let's say. There. Yeah, that could come off the side of that. Right. So I could come off the side of this too, like this, right? That sits there. That sits there. Time to make some cuts. All right, I've cut it to size. I'm now going to cut a chunk out of it. Yep.
That was awesome. That's the first time I've used one of those hold downs for real, and it was great. I loved it. I'm subverting the educational process. I love it. Oh, see. Let this stand up just a little bit. Um, right. Uh, how are we gonna do this? I wanna hold this down. Right, so, no. Let's hold this down from both sides, just so we're really consistent. Oh, there goes my drink. Right, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, that makes sense. these things. They're great.
so, uh, right, this. I guess I can be off by a few thousand on this one. That is from the deck 2.14. Check that. Great. Yeah. Right. Okay. So technically, I want you to be pulled that way. Yeah. I think that's how I want to do that. I think that's exactly how I want to do it. But where are you talking about? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. That fits there. And that fits there. Now if it's there. Great. I feel like I almost want a little more. Let's just see what these do. Better. Much better, much better. Okay, let's get some drywalls in there. Okay. I can move that closer if I need be. That's wonderful. Oh, I just want to double check one measurement. So this is 2.14, 2.14 inches to center. Oh, but what is the measurement over here? Could it be different? It could be, it could be slightly different. Let's double check in case I got it wrong. Wow, no, that's kind of dead on the money. Wow, all right, excellent. So now I need two, yes, two, yes, two, yes. Well, that's gonna have a, uh, that goes there. Uh, and that's gonna get a, That is exactly a quarter inch hole. Okay. So, Now I'm going to, so what I've done is, I need to lock this bit of Delrin to the flat on this motor. See the flat there? So what I did was, ah, uh, come on, there you go. That hole fits the shaft of the motor, and this hole, come on, come on, there we go. That hole right there, that is the, uh, that's gonna be an 832, Tap, that's what that is. So here we go. Huh? 
set. These are long taps. When you need to drill a really deep tapped hole, these are amazing. I haven't found a 440. I haven't been down to 632. Now, I've got this. Yeah. Oh, that'll be awesome. Is this, uh, that one? No, it's not. Is it this one? Yes, it is. All right, so. Screw in this, uh, this set screw so that it marries the flat. Wow. I'm kind of blown away by just how perfectly sized that is. That's great. Okay. Uh, I think I need to spin this whole thing around. Right round, baby. Right round, like a record, baby. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to measure that distance. make this thing as modular as we can make it. So, what is that, 16 and a half? 16 and a half, we we'll just do it. 16 and a half by, by which? 16 and a half, by two and a quarter, Six, 16 and a half by two and a quarter. Let's do it. Uh, glue and staples. <sighs> of the smell of glue. Oh, whoop, 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 wrong, 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 wrong. in backwards, put the whole thing in backwards. Sorry, ladies and germs. Yep. Oh, right, yep, that's why, right. All right, uh, <laughs> correspondence. Okay, so if that is that, right, and then this, See, that's how I could do this. I could literally just have this be there. Yeah, and cut that and just have a block there that with a, and a, uh, is that really how I want to do it? Yeah, I think it is. Excellent. I'm going to cut along that line over there on my little bandsaw.
Okay, so, yeah, you are not far off from being a thing. So I'm going to move this over here. And now I need to tape up my dude. I'm going to use my 246 blocks again. I want a little bit of one. Yes, that's what I want. Right, right. So this is what, yes, that's what I do. Okay. Uh, hi, patient. Hi, patient viewers. Um, what I need to do is I need to turn this, uh, I need to turn this into a loop. And in order to do that, I need to just get perfect alignment. Um, I'm gonna do it without taking apart my pieces of my device here. Is that really right? Is that the right way to do this? Nope, it's not. Okay, getting a little too excited. So here's how this is going to work. I've got these two, four, six blocks, and they are nice and heavy. And they're going to go like this, so they don't move. A couple pieces of the green mask. Great. Now, this is uh, this super tenacious uh, tape that I'm gonna use for the join. And I'm going to put this down. I don't wanna touch any part of it. So I'm going to put it down with tape like this. You see what I, you see where I'm going with this? that there and then I'll stretch just a little bit and that goes there all right so you see what I've got yeah hopefully you see what I've got um, roll this under here and I bring this over and I don't have to worry about it being perfectly aligned on the tape just perfectly flat. I mean, sorry. There's no specific alignment between the tape and the poster. It's just the poster to itself. So once I bring this over, that should afford me. Okay, right. that's a join. Let's cut it. I don't want to tape over the front of that. That's the thing. Actually, I will tape over just the edge on the assumption that I won't see it. And if I do, I can... Yeah, this is a little extra strength. I'm just, I'm happy about a little extra go away and you can go away and you can go away and you can go away. Yes. You have all done your very special part. Back. I think I think I can trust this. So then the question is, where does this live? Am I correct? Center drive, all right. 
and the measurement of 21 and 15 sixteenths. That's what this is, from that center to that center. And then the bottom of that. I do the same thing here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. That's right on the money, and so is that. I'm gonna try. Oh, that has to. This one as well. Yes, all right, so if my measurements are right, okay. Oh, right, <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, so let's, uh, Take this off. And then for these guys. Okay. Now it's time. Sorry, camera cut out there for a second. This is a moment of truth. I have the piece up. I've got a bit of springiness in it. And I've got a couple of wires here. I'm gonna connect them up. Hang on a second. Whoa! Sorry for the, um, all the moving about. Okay, power. Power! Homer! This dream is over! Oh, good, I do. Okay. So. This is the meat and potatoes of this build. If it works. If it works, then we move on to the fun, the fun part. This is the hard part. And I hope it works. I hope I'm not spinning my wheels all day today just trying to get this part to work because I want to move on to the aesthetic part. Fun stuff. Okay. So, let's set a power over here, and um, I'm just going to unceremoniously plug this in and see if it starts to move. All right, let's see. It does. Reader. What? Why did you stop? That was curious. Ooh. Wait a second. Well, uh, my motor doesn't work. Uh, it's too weak. Um, I have a stronger one, so I'm gonna swap that one in. Give me a minute. All right, I've made a, a new little bracket for the bigger motor. This is an AC motor. It's gonna be a lot stronger. It makes a little more noise, but that's fine with me. Um, I am going to, right, this is gonna mount like, like this. And like that, or like this. Like that, okay, so. What, are those not centered on that goddamn thing? Sorry, I didn't mean to curse. But holy hell, why would, <laughs> Okay, here's something. See these three? They're not in a line. 
Come on, come, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. All right, gonna widen the hole. Well, all right, I've widened me hole. Let's see if I can get some love for this thing, for crying out loud. Oh, all that work just to get back to square one. I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Okay, that is securely in there and I can work out a, yep, so put that there. Let's see. Oh, huh? that's uh, right. I want to, yeah, mount this down here. should be able to. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. Well, now it's working. And that's really loud. But Work, it does. Work, it does. It works. That motor is really unfortunate, but I may have to complete this with that motor and then get another motor. The speed is right. The speed is perfect. The noise, not so great. Okay, motor fits within the form factor. I'm very pleased with it. Time to do the rest of the building for this gig because this now works. Oh, oh, right. Actually, there's one more thing I need to do to this. Hang on. Just want to make sure it works when it's upright. There we go. All right. Here's the new motor. Mounted in nicely. Again, noisy. But the cloud cover looks great. Yup, yup, yup. All right. Check this out. Isn't that peaceful? So peaceful. So relaxing. Amazing. Yeah, it's like a moving painting! But what is it moving for? Why does it move? Well, that's what we're about to figure out. I'm gonna do some construction around this, and then that'll be the next thing.
Well, we are making great guns of progress. Great guns of progress. Very happy with how it's going. I am about to add, yeah, the electrical power. The electrical power. Uh, power! Yeah, um, here's what we need. I'm going to solder two leads to these wires here. Ooh. Are those the jack o -lines? No, those are not the jack o -lines. Ooh, wait a second. Ah, there they are. No. I thought I had some gentle ones around here somewhere. These seem to be pulling me. All right, that's working. All right. There's always this part in the build when I get like super feverish because I'm super close. But, and that's where I am. I'm in that stage of the build where I'm a little bit feverish. I'm close to a reveal, and I love a reveal, Jerry. Um, let's get a battery. Let's get some soldering going on here. Actually, I can almost reach it. There we go. This soldering iron's gonna heat up. Two hundred degrees. Two hundred three. Eleven. Two twelve. Two thirteen. Two twenty three. Two thirty one. Two thirty two. Three forty one. Two forty three. Two fifty five. Two sixty six. Two seventy eight. Two ninety one. There we go. Great. And there we go. Yeah. That was it. That was all I needed. Some around these. I may end up replacing this. Uh, I may end up replacing this motor. We shall see. Okay, so if that is the, right, so if this is the oink and the oink, and this is the other oink and the other oink, and then this is the last oink of the oink, then I think what I need is a quarter inch. Oh yeah, there you are. When I say that I'm close to a reveal, I mean I'm close to a reveal. I'm close to revealing to you the whole structure and purpose of this build. Yeah. But first I have to do a little last minute wiring and I'm going to clean up a little bit. I'm going to do a plug test just to make sure everything's working before I assemble. Let's just see. We should get some light and some motors going. Motors going, lights going. That tells me I have a working system. Yeah! 
Okay, I'm very excited. <laughs> I literally just went mwah, mwah. All right. You've been very patient with me. And now I think it's time to reveal some of the scope of this build. So, clearly I've made a picture box. I've made a moving picture box. I moved. Are you moved? It moves. Hence, we all get moved. Um, I made a picture box. Sorry, distracted for a second. Let's plug it in, see what we can learn. Here, look at it from my point of view. Yeah, right? So, yeah. I've built this to display something. And that something is this beautiful model from Nausicaa, Valley of the Winds, an early Studio Ghibli film and I think the second or third one of his films I saw. Um, the American version, the one that's dubbed in English with Patrick Stewart's terrific. I don't think I've seen the Japanese version, but this is one of the characters and we're going to put her together. We're gonna put her in here. Yeah. This is less a kit than more just like a toy. Look, they even put a skyscape that you could Uses a Well, uh, the best laid plans. I just shot a whole time-lapse of me finishing this figure only to see that the time-lapse is totally out of focus. Yeah, here you go. This is what a problematic out of focus time-lapse time looks like. Sorry about that. Uh, but I have her hanging and damn, it looks good. It's like I've brought the magic of a Ghibli film into my space. Uh, this is not a small box. It is about a foot thick. As you can see, it's a big Megilla, but oh. I'm like, I'm, I'm ceaselessly fascinated by staring at this. It's really, really beautiful. Thank you. I, Thank you guys for joining me for this one day build. I'm really excited to see it up and lit. I've been thinking about this for weeks uh, and I'm really ecstatic with how it came out. <sighs> okay, you guys stay safe and I will see you next time. Bye guys.